welcome back to the new episode of Life is Strange. Actually, we're going to... Well... I think we will cover the both episodes of this game. The blue is Okay, hell is empty. Previously on Life is Strange. By the way, this weird state is awful. I felt like my dad and only bit I had something for a while. I just, I didn't know what it was. <laughs> there is plenty of blame to go around. What does that mean? You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. Hey! Black Hole's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Whatever you do, don't open the door. Oh, I want my fucking money! <laughs> yeah, Mikey broke the arm in the last episode. Is wailing. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. No fucking chance. I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? Yes. Let's leave. For real. If you don't mean this, it's... It's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. What would it take to convince you? Why can't you just tell me the fucking truth? Rachel, that woman you saw... That wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. Okay, now the real, the real beginning. Rachel's mother, you see. I Somehow I you. think Rachel is nearsighted. But are you sure that Chloe should like be Like me, but okay. For... Chloe stays. Of course. In every way that matters, Rose is my wife and your mother. But the woman you saw at the Overlook, her name is Sarah, your birth mother. I'm going to tell you everything, Rachel. Everything I've shielded you from for so long. But the truth can be hard to look at. Is this really something you're ready for? Chloe. I'm right here. Good. I need you. Okay, we are in some kind of a... Yes, I know that, you know, I had a MMA in three episodes, so yeah. in high school there was one person everyone adored okay this is actually a good way Teachers, to tell a story her friends Sarah was everyone's favorite this is Rachel's father okay every boy wanted to date her I could barely believe it when she picked me sometimes I think that's what kept me blind for so long Oh, didn't divorce the ones. So alive, so passionate about everything. Early on, though, I realized 
I wasn't enough for her. While the rest of us were pursuing college, careers, families, Sarah wasn't looking for any of that. She was looking for escape. Seem like Rachel. When Sarah became pregnant, I thought it would solve everything. And it did. For a little while. Becoming your father was the greatest moment of my life. There was so much love, but I was still blind. Okay, courtship again. I only saw what I wanted to see until it was almost too late. No way. That's decent. However much she loved you then. Wasn't enough. For Sarah, the need to escape was always there. Where did she? For over a year, I tried to help her. Was she taking I drugs? I believe that she was still a good person. That no matter what happened. She would never do anything to hurt you. I was wrong. Eventually, I saw her for who she really was. A destructive person. Someone who could never be satisfied. Anyone or anything, even the love of her own daughter. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. So I made a choice. I was never going to let her harm you again. What you saw at the Overlook, Rachel, it was true, we kissed. It was the saddest kiss of my life. It was a kiss. You can't. Goodbye. I told you you can't dismiss I was a ju the Judas kiss. Yeah. And she felt like she'd gotten her life together. Finally. But she didn't get to just decide one day to be a mother. Not after what she'd done. But after all the people she hurt. All the lives she destroyed. I told her she'd been given the greatest gift in the world. The chance to be your mother. And she squandered it. It pained me to hurt her like that. But I'd do it again. And again and again to keep you safe. Is that all? So that was the first time you've seen her or spoken with her in 15 years? No. I send her money. Every single month. It's our arrangement. But now she wants to see me? Yes. But Rachel, it cannot be. 
You think you have the right to decide that for her? When I left Sarah, when I took Rachel away, I truly believe I saved her life. And I will continue to protect her no matter what. But maybe she's different now. I mean, people change, right? Maybe so. But consider that for 15 years, she's preferred that money to you. <sighs> Rachel. I don't know what I think I need to lie down. To, I don't know what to say to you. I have a bad feeling that something bad will happen in this episode. I mean, this is the last episode, so who knows? Group SMS. Rachel and Chloe, where, where are you guys? We were at the Tempest Game Party. We tested Rachel like eight times. Yeah, I don't think we're making it. Chloe, you should come. Hey Chloe, you did awesome, babe. Hey Chloe, great job tonight. Thanks, I can't. You totally saved us. Tudor, we have a new show. Seriously, just come. Bring Rachel. Sorry, guys. Yeah, we have a problem. I can't leave Rachel to deal with this alone. Be with Rachel. Square Enix or Square Penis. Deck nine. Episode 3, Hell is Empty. I need some way to show Rachel that I'm here for her. Be here for Rachel. Rachel's surrounded by so much love. Yet she seems to so her wonderful daughter on the night of her. Oh, alone. Larsho. Her first show, break a leg. We love you, mom and dad. This light needs more light. Wonder what I could find around here to brighten up that night light. I know something Miss Arcadia doesn't. Weird. Emergency kit. This is, this, this is the interesting beginning of the episode. Chloe, I'm leaving the door unlocked in case you have your key. Please come home, doesn't matter, this is after curfew. Mom, I can't right now. Please. I think we will fuck up badly because you're trying to help with the light. What did you make, Chloe? All ready for Rachel's light show. Better get her attention first. Hey, Rachel. I'm glad you're here, Chloe. 
Of course. Hey, check it out. It's beautiful. I thought you might like it. I've always loved stars. Why? Yeah, but, but you destroyed her. Remind us there's so much. We destroyed her nightlight. Which we almost never see. Guess I had a hunch. But then I learned the truth. The stars we're seeing have already been dead for millions of years. They're all Lies. Yeah, like love is a lie. The cake is a lie. But that doesn't make them any less beautiful. Right? I don't know. If they're not even real, then what's the point? It's all lies. Everything. My entire life. My dad. <laughs> My mom. If I can even call her that anymore. And that other woman. My real mom. She's the biggest lie of all. I can't trust any of them. I think you're the only one in the world I can trust. I'll take it. Even if it's only by process of elimination. <laughs> Good. I wore this bracelet my entire life. I never even asked why. Never even thought about it. <laughs> Somehow, I think I always knew. Even when I didn't know. <laughs> that my real mother was gone. Gone, just like that. The fact that she's here right now. That she came here for me. I think I need to see her. Is that wrong? Of course not. Come on, Chloe. You, 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 you did that again. It, it might be tough to track her down. Yeah. I just repeated what I said. That's true. Luckily. I've got my secret weapon. But what if we can't find her? It's not like I can ask my dad. I have no idea where to start. I think I know what to do. I'll call Frank and get him to connect us to her. You do that? I'll give it a shot. Of course, even if we know where she is, we need a way to get to her. I can't just ask my parents for a ride. Don't worry. I've got that one covered too. You do? Yep. 
In fact, anything you could come up with, I'll handle it. <laughs> I know you will. But even if we find her, how will I talk to her? What do I say? After my dad died, I didn't know how to keep talking to him. I still don't. But it doesn't matter. All that matters is that he's there. Your dad? In my dreams. He's there. It's yeah, I think we'll see him again. It's almost like it's another part of my life. It used to be the only part that mattered. I've never told anyone about that. Weird, huh? Uh, Rachel? I was just thinking... Maybe I was wrong before. <laughs> Who cares if the stars are dead? As long as we can still see them, that means they're real. To us. Right? Right. Okay, we have another loading screen.